All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, please make sure to subscribe. We've got waterfowl content all season long, and we're still getting into the end of the season right now, and it's been pretty good so far, so make sure you guys are staying tuned with us. So tomorrow morning, we're heading back out to Middle Harbor. You guys saw the last video. Last video was a little bit warmer out there than it has been lately. And so we're really hoping that some of the birds that were in there just kind of hanging out have moved on or at least they're starting to move a little bit more. So my friend Brian and I are going to go out in the morning with his dog Ace. Boomer doesn't really like the really cold water and it's really cold right now. So I don't think he's going to be joining me much this season, the rest of the season. And it's unfortunate, but that's just kind of how he is and that's just how it goes. So we're going to go out in the morning. I'm going to go out set up. Brian's going to meet me out there and we're going to be targeting diver. There are some geese there as well. So I'm going to bring a six pack of geese. We'll see what happens. Uh, six dozen divers. He's bringing a couple dozen and if we need them, we'll throw them out when he gets there. But otherwise, we got the old trusty kayak loaded up. We've got a bunch of decoys in the truck already. And we're just going to see what happens in the morning. Hopefully with this cold, it's really pushing some stuff around. Maybe there's some new birds in the area. The wind's not going to be ideal for tomorrow, but there's also like no wind in the prediction anyway. So I don't really think it's going to matter too much. It's just going to be making the decoys visible and trafficking some of these these birds that have been sitting in a giant raft out in the middle of the harbor. So stay tuned, hopefully we have a good hunt and we'll catch you guys in the morning. got here I got everything unloaded got the kayak got all the decoys long line weights and we got ice got a little bit of skim ice so I'm gonna break some of that up out there and get some of these long lines set before Brian gets here we can throw some singles some uh, geese and jump in the blind so let's get to it has been yeah Oh, I see it. Shoot him? Yep. Oh, that was here. So that was the worst time. We had a lot of gear. What the f*** happened to us? Tell me why I have no shells in my gun. Are they both down? Yeah. Oh shit, good for you. Alright, so it is, it's been 28 minutes and we have seven birds with four gadwall, three teal, and I haven't even been able to get this head strap ready because it's just been kind of crazy to be honest, but I had the other GoPro running so you guys will be able to see that. Um, I pulled up on those two gadwall and I didn't have a shell in my gun because we were finishing off teal and yeah. This has been way more than we were bargaining for. So me and Brian have seven birds right now. We're just gonna keep seeing what happens. We got a lot of ice and I don't think it's really mattered to them as much. They're just trying to sit right in the decoys and once they realize that it's ice, then they take off. But it's been nuts. This is really cool. 
give you lots of crap this morning. I forgot how much I ate ice. <laughs> it was kind of brutal, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah Dang, another stud drake. Another one. It's <laughs> central today. <laughs> I I'll do this all day. I don't care. Where'd they come from? Uh, I don't know. I think when we heard those wings whistling, I think they were above us. Shoot him. Ah, go down! Sick. What are they? Caddies? Uh, yep. Again? Oh, Back. got him! Oh! Let's go! Let's go! The triggers go. <laughs> <laughs> Holy dingo! What, dude? And they went out right back. That was disgusting. Best thing ever made. This I'm for oh, oh, Damn it! <laughs> They're gonna do it. They're gonna do it. This is a limit if we knock all three down. Ready? Kill him. Ready? Kill him. that the outro I filmed has no audio at all. My microphone got screwed up, so we're doing it now. But we had a really, really good hunt out there. It was pretty unreal to see just how much a little bit of skim ice really turned on those gadwall. And I mean, even to see teal come in, like that was pretty crazy. Me and Brian were able to limit out before like nine o'clock, which we weren't expecting at all. We had probably six and a half dozen diver decoys out and we had a redhead mojo and we had one mallard decoy which was brian's uh he has one of those higdon swimmers and that thing apparently that's what did the deal they wanted to land right on top of that they were landing by the spinner too but i think it was just the fact that there was any open water the marshes around it had to have been frozen because the entire harbor was iced over with about half an inch of ice. I broke it up with the kayak before he showed up and just having a little bit of open water and having some decoys out really did the trick for these birds. We probably had a total of like five or six hundred gadwall try to lock up in the decoys whether we were picking up birds or when we were already done it was just like so many birds coming in that, that spread even though it was completely all divers which was wild but hopefully you guys enjoyed that i tried to get as much as i could on film right away but we had some early action and i didn't have my head cam on so hopefully i got enough and hopefully you guys enjoy the video if you guys aren't subscribed please make sure to subscribe check out all the previous videos from the season make sure you guys like the video so that helps get it out to more people Check out the Too Many Hobbies podcast and we'll catch you guys in the